Okay, I promised you a, a review of the Otley Oxymoron. Here it is, 5.5% ABV. It's their black IPA. New in the bottle. I like the the neck, the sleeve. Gives it gives the beer a bit of quality, the bottle a bit of quality. And yeah, it all looks good. It all looks good. So let's get it, let's get it open. Get into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Okay, so the beer is pouring out, as you expect, a nice black IPA with a wow, really nice, well conditioned, well conditioned, nice four finger head there. The head is a tan colour, and I, I, I'm probably half a meter away from the glass myself and I can really smell the, the kind of roastedness with the with the hops there. It's got a really nice aroma. Can't wait to get my nose into this one in a moment. Uh, nice level of the carbonation. Nice small bubbles which I was told by a, a, an old head brewer that um, uh, Nick's standing, standing next to me here so I'll <laughs> speak to Nick. Um, an old head brewer told me once that the smaller the bubble the better the beer. Is that is that right? I think uh, the old school might say that. Yeah. But, uh, if you mean with the head, the tighter the head, probably the better, yeah. The, so the bubbles, bubbles on the, the carbonation rise up. Oh, sorry, they said the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. That was a, to me. a guy from Wells and Young's told me that. But if he was correct, then the bubbles are really small, really nice and tight. Nice tight head. Let's get small. The all important nose, let's get my nose into this one. Oh yeah, it's really nice roasted malts. Chocolate, caramel, coffee. And it's slightly vinous, would you say it's like a red kind of wine, vinous nose uh, on this one? Well it's, it's, it's 5.5 so you're going to get quite an alcohol mm. kind of resin yeah. kind of, and the hops as well, there's so many hops in there. So much resin in there. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. And again, as Nick says, it's really nice and hoppy mixed with that roasted malt that's in the beer. So I cannot wait to get into this one. I'm going to give it a try. Cheers, everyone. Really nice mouthfeel. Really, again, it's one of these things. I, I understand the hops and the malt and everything else, but the beer is probably 80 90% water, and I can really taste this kind of fresh, kind of spring watery, it's just super refreshing. Um, now now we'll get into the, the other flavours. Which had a big onrush of hops. Uh, Chinook, you, was it Chinook did you say earlier Chinook, on? Chinook, it's Columbus hops, Citra, Sriracha Ace and Galena. Yeah, this, it's classic kind of American IPA taste, but again mixed with that really nice malty backbone you get with the beer. Oh, super, really nice. It's the carbonation in your mouth, it kind of pushes the beer around into the, into the palate where it helps to release all of the flavours that are locked inside this beer. It's, but again, what's getting me with this beer is the freshness of the water. Is it, is it the water as it comes or do you do, do some with the water next well, to we, get it to... We always treat the water with salts etc. Um, but it is, it is Welsh water, it comes from a Brecon way, it's from the reservoirs. Right, that explains everything, yeah. It's, it's good water. Yeah. Uh, we're lucky to be in this part of the world really to, to, yeah, to yeah. brew beer. Um, I'm going to give my final thoughts on a rating. I'm not sure if there's anything written on the side I can read out. Um, We're pretty minimal on our labels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems that sometimes I can be reading for five minutes. <laughs> there's something from Stone Brewing. It's, it's like a, um, a book. Um, the website is www.otleybrewing.co.uk. Please check them out. Um, check out this bottle shop. The, the website for the bottle shop, Nick, yes. it was... It's, um, it's still up and running, it's realbeerbox.com. Realbeerbox.com. Um, you'll be able to order all of Nick's range here. I'm going to give this a rating. A 
As far as black IPAs go, this has got something for me, which uh, which it's it's kind of new and refreshing. I, I like this kind of vinous note I'm picking up. This kind of hints of red wine and almost like a barrel age in this. Um, that's going on with the beer. I'm really impressed with that. So that goes on top of it being kind of up there with the best black IPAs, I'd say. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for the Real Ale Guide. Um, thanks to Nick for joining me. Pleasure. Um, helping me out with the hops and etc. Um, we're probably going to check, or the next video is going to be in the Otley's pub, their brew pub. We're going to check out some of their, their beers on cask and Nick will be able to talk maybe a little bit more about yeah. um, the company, but you'll be trying that one on the uh, on cask as well. Oh, brilliant! So we're going to be on trying this on cask. Um, check out tomorrow's video for this. But thanks for watching. Now, um, thank you again to Nick and cheers. Pleasure.